Welcome to Chatterbox Audio Theater. Today's episode of Thumbnail Theater is written by Tony Isbell and it's called The Dark. This is the room? Yes, John Doe. True name unknown. And Mr. Doe has been here? Three weeks. Arrested for petty theft and brought here by the police when he began raving. Diagnosis? Well, Dr. Barrington, it's only preliminary, but dementia precox. Dementia precox. That's a rather antiquated term, Dr. Hudson. Don't you think schizophrenia might be a better description? We are more than two decades into the 20th century, after all. Perhaps it's time to use modern scientific terms and diagnoses? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Symptoms? Well, sir, he hardly eats. He's practically skin and bones. He's usually quiet and docile. Almost pleasant, really. Speaks if spoken to, but he can be disturbing under certain circumstances. Such as? When he's in the dark, sir. The dark? Yes, sir. From the first night he was brought here, he would become more and more restless as the evening approached. There are, of course, no windows in any of the rooms, and when night fell and we cut off the lights, his screaming would begin. A fear of the dark? As far as we could surmise, sir, the screaming is so loud, so disturbing, that it would arouse the other patients, get them worked up as well. It even frightened the orderlies. And that's when you moved him into this wing? Yes, sir. It's isolated. The oldest part of the asylum. We don't really use it anymore. Yes, I'm aware of that. Dr. Hudson, as the new head of this institution, I must say I'm appalled by this report. We have here a poor, frightened individual in need of treatment, of sympathy. He needs help overcoming his psychosis, and your response has been to lock him away, to suffer his terrors alone. Well, I'm about to show you how things are going to be from now on. Unlock this door. But, Dr. Barrington, lights out is in the next few minutes. That's exactly the point. I intend to spend the next hour with John Doe, show him there is nothing to fear in the dark, that it's all a product of his poor, sick mind. But, but Doctor... No buts. Unlock this door, let me in, then lock it behind me. Return for me in exactly one hour. But the dark! There'll be no light in the room in just a moment. I have a box of matches if needed. There's no reason to fear the dark in this day and age. Now follow my instructions and unlock the door. Good evening, Mr. Doe. Who... who are you? I'm Dr. Barrington. I'm here to help you. I must apologize for the way you've been treated. You, you shouldn't be here. It's almost dark. But that's exactly why I am here. To help you face your fear of the dark. To show you that you can make it through the darkness without harm. You can't help me. Oh, you're wrong there, Mr. Doe. I will help you. I am bringing the most modern and scientific methods with me. Your mind is ill, Mr. Doe. Your fear of the dark is just a product of your illness. I'm going to help you conquer that fear by staying here in the dark with you, and then I'm going to help you get better. No, 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 no one can help me. You shouldn't be here. It's almost dark. They'll cut the lights out soon. I know that, Mr. Doe. John, I'm not like the others here. They might as well be living in the 19th century. I am a man of science, of modern medicine. I want to cure you, not lock you away. Perhaps if you told me a little about yourself. Where is your family, for instance? Family? I... I have no family. Dead. They're all dead. I'm the only one. When did your parents die? When I was just a boy. And how did they die? They were murdered. Slaughtered like animals. I'm very sorry for you. But already I begin to see the root of your psychosis, your fear. Such a traumatic event would scar anyone, but I'm here to help. You should leave. There. Right on cue. You see, Mr. Doe, it's totally dark now. We might as well be in a pit in the center of the earth, but there's nothing to fear. No, 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 it's too late, too late, too late, too late. Too late? What do you mean, too late? The dark, the dark, the dark, the dark. I tell you there is nothing to fear, though. You must get a grip on yourself. We can face this together. The dark, the dark, the dark, the dark. You don't understand, Dr. Barrington. It's the dark. Get hold of yourself, Doe. Don't let this fear beat you. I tell you, you don't understand fear. You keep saying fear, but it isn't fear. Not fear at all. What do you mean? What are you saying? Doe? Doe, where are you? Answer me. I'm not afraid. I have matches here. I'm going to light one. There. Now, where are you? What do you mean it's not fear? Oh, God. Oh, dear God. It's not fear, Doctor. It's never been fear that the dark brings. It brings hunger!
You've been listening to The Dark by Tony Isbell, featuring Tony Isbell, Justin Willingham, and Kenan Keplinger. Sound effects by Karen Strawn. Produced and directed by Robert Arnold. If you enjoyed that, you'll enjoy our longer shows. Hear them all for free on iTunes and chatterboxtheater.org.